I'm going to read to you the incantations to start our program. I have written what I have titled um, Hoi San Sin Queens. There's no such thing. I just made it up. And so the first stanza is in Hoi San Wa, and the second one is in English. Om Mani Padme Hum Philo Utlun I Fao where in Sylvan Woods, you wah wah, artists. Oh, mani pa me hum. Philo, Oakland, San Francisco. Where in Sylvan Woods, you paint artists. Cohen, K-O-A-N, for Bernice Bing. The painting rises from the brushstrokes as a poem rises from the words. The meaning comes later. Juan Miro. Behind the mask, no face. Behind the flesh, no form. Behind the face, no name. Names fade like black ink on rice paper, like leaves under men's feet. A strand of black hair gently falls over your eyes. The chill of autumn sends a shiver through your spine. Cicadas call your name. What is your true name? Behind the mask, no face. Behind the form, no shadow, only the shush of wind, only the sibilance of poets and childhood hidden behind tangled calligraphy. Moonlight descends on the blank canvas. The tip of the brush curls like a leaf in a teacup. Can you divine its message? Where is I? Where is me? Brush 
finds its color as hand releases stroke after stroke to unbind the ribbon of memory. Time does not change the past, nor does history change men. The Taoist poet Li Yi fled to Wu Mountain from the same emperor who honored her, then executed her. Did he use a sword, an arrow, or poison behind the mask, paint, flesh in search of gender, bone in search of body, brush in search of soul? Breath takes a leap of faith, free falling without a net, through the wormhole of memory. The alchemy of the canvas is silent, feral. Line delineates space, but space is empty. A trickster knows the art of magic is to surrender self to imagination, to paint fate by its shadow at a place where mirrors don't reflect. And death never comes, where women exiled to the gallows of history return to their bodily forms. Faces are koans, apparitions in smoke. There are myriad worlds to unveil, a thousand roads to wander, a thousand battles to endure. To be born a woman is to know sorrow, never to reach the summit of immortality. She hovers over the depths of obscurity, hitched to a kite string suspended between two worlds, two loves, two spirits, circling the summit of burning souls, gleaming in the embers of solitude. You are a bird soaring over the bay of Bodega, glassy-eyed and silent as the five-petaled lotus, crowning your lonely hermitage illuminated in the movable feast of your bright colored palette. Clouds skim over the Pacific with you adrift among giant seashells, making your way from the cry of seagulls to the horizon with your brushes, stroke by stroke, swimming into clear view, each moment frozen at the angle of light, the empty canvas waiting for the painter to become the brush and the brush to become the hand that lifts the mask. Incantation two. Ngoi gathlun nui. Pupu. Haine kort lai goi. Wai wa wa. Sui gao ne du koina leng ya. My granddaughter. Grandma sees you so young. Know how to draw. Who teaching you? do this beauty.
Incantation 3 BB Wa Ching A Ngoi Nek Na Ham Pao Mo Asli Ai Fao Hong Gin Fao Ning Yin Wa Wa Baby Wa Chings Give me your guns Don't kill San Francisco's Chinatown people Make art Desire. I want to dance in the patter of the rain. The woods grow red. I am in the thick of it. Flight is resistance, shaped in the shadow of a woman finding her way to the stars. Look, the skies cloud even now when the lights shimmer fireflies piercing the amoeba dark. Let me return to love wherever that is. Forests filled with monkeys and tropical birds, lotus ponds alighting from the depths of lagoons. The thick of it, the words tremble, fulfill my desire for communication Language trickles into my dreams, yet my skin betrays the itching. Clearings fill with the density of leaves. Eucalyptus, birch, palm. Step across the leaves, hear them crackle, crunch. My legs slowly lift themselves, buoyant as a ship at sea. Sailing on smooth waters was never my course. No, the battleground undulates from the skin out, where the nerves pulse, conscious, sure as the flowering of spring crocus. Thick hair ideas unravel themselves during forums where free speech reigns yet fatigue overtakes a bandit in hot chase. When confrontation falters, the evening closes and the heart halts. Persistence imprints its footsteps, respectful of lehua, sun, air, love, love, find me dancing deep in the red woods. Recurring dream. You walk up and down the streets of childhood, hair lashing, sun-baked cheeks and wind. From the corners of your eyes, peeking at kitchen windows with their strawberry curtains and shut doors that will never open again. The faint sound of laughter and the smell of steamed rice and stir-fried bok choy, and yes, the unmistakable aroma of ham goi ji ngok beang, fill your nostrils till you're delirious with hunger. 
You pull your collar up and wrap a scarf around your head to cover the chasm where the ghosts are lodged, but their voices keep calling you back from the other side. You get inside your car, not knowing where you are or where you're going, and drive as fast as you can along a narrow stretch of highway along the shore till you reach a wall and can't go further than desperation carries you. This is a dream you tell yourself, but deep inside you know your fate is to roam that place of unwaking shadow, that road of 10,000 sorrows, that sky of 10,000s of stars. Incantation four. Bernisi Ne Wakwa Ho Jungi Nangan Sik Sui Yu Wang Sik Lam Sik Ho Guang Ming Gi Song Bernice Your artwork Really like your choice of colors yellow and blue, very radiant. How wonderful.
Incantation five. Hai lo, sang din si ni, gong hai ka si duri, mot de ke wa wa gong a ling oi moi moi. I'm going to read this once more. Hai lo sang din si. Mun ngoi ne koi si du mata ka wa wa kung nga ling oi moi moi. At Los Angeles that time, you ask me what art am I making now, ling oi little sister. Flight. At 4.30 in the afternoon, my legs turn cold. My stomach gurgles. The sky pales. A dragon cloud outside my window opens its mouth towards the east. Beyond a cloud city floats, a magic blanket beckoning me to journey to the past. Where shall I go, I ask myself, delighted as a five-year-old. My heart stops, but only for a moment. I know I will return to the Han Dynasty, visit the brilliant light palace built by Emperor Wu. I want to see if the walls indeed were inlaid with pearls. I want to see if the staircases were gilded, if even on a dark night, the palace shone brighter than all the stars in the heavens. I tiptoe from my blanket to the upstairs chamber. There is Li Ching Chao drinking wine and writing a poem. Her long fingers touch my beating heart as she gazes outside at the cassia flowers. She pays no attention to this intruder, noisy as a newborn crow, who dreams that the poet's brushstrokes one spring day will reach her in the future world.
cloud woman, like a secluded stream longing to find the river's mouth. I, daughter of Han, have been too long tumbling from the clouds of Wu Mountain into the abyss of the far-off sea. When the east wind pierces through the great wall of waves, my heart soars through the darkness to glimpse the moon where the light of Taoist women poets still shine from another time. Only the immaculate heart that knows the true essence of immortality can thread meaning to the farthest corners of heaven and earth. The Taoist Princess Yao could take the form of clouds and transform into a beautiful maiden at will to seduce male, male travelers on Wu Gorge. The alchemy of the female body can harness yin to topple even the mightiest throne. You, daughters of Han, must come to understand that the history of love is an epic of self-sacrifice and silent determination in the absence of form. I've looked at clouds from both sides now and win and lose and still somehow it's clouds, illusions, I recall. I really don't know clouds at all. Incantation six. Neloi Philo Nin Si. My Ngao Ngok Chao Fun. A Ngoi Hak. Ngoi Ho Jung Yi Hak. Koina Hong Tan. You came to Philo that time. Bought beef chao fun for me to eat. I really like to eat this type of Chinese food. The Butterfly's Dream. The poet walked into the city of darkness, looked metaphor straight in the eye, and saw nothing. The sky had shorn itself of light and left her soul along the cracks of drying rivers and lakes. The hollow wells remembered water, and the coffins spilled their skeletons' names into the Saraswati, Euphrates, Mekong, Yellow, Aral, forgotten rivers and lakes with no beginning or end. The rose, gardenia, dahlia, camellia, and amaryllis showered the clockwork dawn with their inflorescence the poet shouted into an ear of corn and heard nothing. The sun had gone home for the day and was known to beg along the canals where politicians argued with forensic engineers over the cause of inflow. We were only lovers and had nothing to say. The words of singers, passers-by, and philosophers rattled in the grand marble of obituaries and keynote dinners of clanging forks and knives, humid as summer, a history arranged over a menu of smoked duck and foie gras, with nothing left to chance but chance itself. 
The poet commissioned the stars on dark matter to draft a memorandum of truth on the loss of innocence in all its personifications, to which the Pope replied, pardon the wounded sinner, as the choir fled through the revolving door of epochs, clinging to their prayer beads and shadows, leaving the pews to echo the psalms in the alms of the faithful. The scientists carved the names of things out of the tiniest atom to the largest galaxy on their tombstones, and the poets memorialized each other's names and their ghosts. The dragon-tailed bamboo along the riverside was none other than the sage E.T. banished for making wine, and the Milky Way, a bridge of magpies, led the cowherd to his maiden in the mirror of night. The dragon and tiger, tiger contrived a truce, and east became west, became east, and the carnivore became vegetarian, in the journey of the West that left nothing to name but namelessness itself in the eternal book of changes. The poet walked into the city of darkness and slept and slept till he awakened a stranger to himself. He searched for the vanishing metaphors of his youth among the ruins of his poems. The rose, gardenia, dahlia, chameleon, amaryllis showered the clockwork dawn of sorrow and the taste of his lover's lips and the soft abyss of her flesh carried him over the river of echoing songs where nothing was left to name.
I haven't learned to let go of art. How can I put it? It's like the highest form of art becomes a vehicle, like a mantra, Bernice Bing. She lets go. She lets go. Her brushstrokes, a waterfall, lotus flowers in water, garden ponds. She lets go splashes of black, yellow, white, the circularity of compassion. She lets go, lets go. Roadmap of art, she lets go. Horn of the iron sheep, discovering peace mountain. Ideograms of a woman's eye, forming in storms of lost parents, letting go stones, pillars, beyond a child's sight. Imperfections of the year of the rat, she lets go, lets go, nature of her soul, her body rocking the moon. Calligraphy of her life art, personal yet free. The public watches with querying arms. Who, who is letting go, go? Her art camouflages, hides, undulates. Listen, listen to the sounds of her pen, her brush. Hear, hear her heart the songs of silence, her hands letting go. Community is in the heart. Say Kui. On our journey to an unknown destiny. Say Kui. Our voices ring loud. Say Kui. Our voices ring proud. Say Kui. Community is in the heart. Say Kui. The pulse of morning, landscapes of our dreams. We plow and we scrape, we seed and create. Laughter fills our hearts with joyful stories and songs bequeathed to us since birth. Tears fill our hearts, falling silent and free on our journey to an unknown destiny. Courage like a gushing river fills our hearts, sending joy to moistened sh shores of living, where strength, stamina, and resilience weave within breath of kindness of caring. 
explore the map of mountains and plains, cascades and clay of red earth, cliffs of labor, fruit linking generations, our feet on the ground. We, we are, are women, women of, of the, the earth. earth. We, we are, are women of the, the sky. sky. We lift our lips to say, we are here. From Hoisan to Gimsan, we are here. Come, hold our hands to great circles of love. We are allies. Our, our voices, voices ring, ring loud. loud. Our, our voices ring, ring proud. proud. We are joyous, residing in community. Community is in our hearts. Say kui. Say kui. Say kui. Say kui. Say kui. Thank you. Thank you all for sharing this evening with us. I'm not going to the Giants game or the Warriors game. <laughs> we really appreciate you. Del So, our magical, soulful Del Sol is made up of Benjamin Kreef, Charlton Lee, Catherine Bates. Aren't they just marvelous? The last Hoisan poets. Lo Oi Wong, Nellie Wong, Jenny Lim. We want to thank the Asian Art Museum, Chong Moon Lee Center for Asian Art and Culture, Dr. Jay Shu, Barbara Bass Bakar, Director and CEO, Abby Chen, Head of Contemporary Art, and Indra Mungal, who made all of this possible for us today. Senior Educator for Public Programs. Thank you. I have a statement. I, yes. <laughs> I was going to tell them to go see the exhibit after, so you can tell them that. <laughs> the last choice on poets would like to thank Lenore Chin. Whoa! Stand up. <laughs> Kim Ano. <laughs> Abby Chen and others for steadfastly working to bring visibility to the art of the resilient abstract expressionist artist Bernice Bing, a foremother for those of us who are contemporary creatives. Moira Roth 
Profethan Professor of Art History at Mills College, introduced Bernice to Flo Oi Wong, co-founder of the Asian American Women's Artists Association, AWA, in 1989. When Bernice joined and embraced AWA, she discovered her path to wholeness. We are bonded to Bernice as sisters in our hearts. Thank you and good night.